As I explained in my Everyday Carry update, every single Mr. Mobile video you've ever seen has been built on a notebook computer. I live on laptops, and I can't ever see myself ditching them for a desktop. But occasionally, I would like a little more screen space. And that's where the Asus Zen screen comes in. My favorite things about the Zen screen are the simplest parts of it. There's no battery here, no power adapter to lug around. It gets all the juice it needs from its USB connection. If you're in the same boat I am and don't have a notebook with USB-C, you can use an A to C cable or adapter. The only catch is that you might need to download a driver from ASUS to make it work. Which is great, because while you wait for it to install, you can wipe off your gross, filthy, dirty computer screen. Blech. I've used the Zen screen with a MacBook Pro and several Windows machines, and even with those that support DisplayPort over USB, it can be a little finicky the first time you use it. You gotta kinda fiddle with the buttons until it stays awake. After that, the Zen screen is just recognized as a typical second monitor, with Windows or OS X adapting as necessary. The backside is brushed metal, finished in the Asus Concentric Moiré, and it's nice and thin at just over 7.5 millimeters which helps keep the weight under two pounds without the carrying case. That case brings the total mass up to almost three pounds, but it's worth it if you're concerned about scratching the display on all the jetsam in the average backpack. Where the case stumbles is in its job as a stand, the assembly of which is way more complicated than it should be. But not to worry, the company has also punched a hole in the lower right corner that you can stick a pen through to prop it up. There's literally a ballpoint pen included in the box for this, which I, of course, immediately lost. Anyway, it's as lame and hacky as it sounds. I join Windows Central's Daniel Rubino in wishing that ASUS had just built a stand right into the monitor, like on a Surface Pro. While we're talking compromises, the monitor itself is not a bright one. It maxes out around 200 nits, roughly half as bright as the Surface laptop is capable of getting, so you can basically forget about using it outdoors. Also, it tops out at full HD, there's no touchscreen layer to be found, and it covers only about 72% of the sRGB color gamut, so it won't be anyone's first choice for photo or video editing. That's a lot of trade-offs, but this is the kind of device that sort of resonates with me anyway, because the compromises have all been made in the name of mobility. Not having to worry about a separate charger or battery is very convenient, and I'll deal with the brightness trade-off if it means my second screen won't be draining my laptop's battery as rapidly. Also, there are some thoughtful options built into the Asus software. Not just a blue light filter to go easy on your eyes after sundown, but four different levels of it, as well as a bunch of different display modes and an optional portrait setting if you feel like doing some coding or just going pro-style on your Twitter feed. The Zen screen isn't the kind of thing you're going to bust out on the plane or at a crowded coffee shop, but if you are used to two screens, and you're overnighting in a hotel or you're schlepping a laptop between home and the office, well, it is a fairly idiot-proof path to an extra 15 inches of desktop. And at $250 on Amazon, it's a lot cheaper than buying an iPad to use for the same purpose. I stole a bunch of shots from Windows Central's review of this gadget, folks. To get their take on the Zen screen, click on through to the other side. And don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Mobile. It's going to be an exciting fall in mobile tech with new videos landing every week. Till next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends. <laughs>